Hi, we are by me, Team Eleven, and our product is called Botanic. I'm Mika Kanemitsu. I'm in charge of hardware and work on circuit to integrate humidity sensor, Arduino Uno, and motor. We are in a situation, quarantine time. Ah, coronavirus! This is a good example for our product. You can't go out. You can't watch Netflix every day. It gets kind of boring. Of course, we work on a project, for sure. But we need a new hobby. How about a plant? Plant eases your stress and gives you positive energy. But if you don't take good care of plant, this is happen. Hi, my name is Emmanuel Lagu, and I worked on the automated watering system alongside with Mika. So the automated water unit has two components. It has the water pump and it has the capacitor soil sensor and all of this is controlled by the Arduino. So based on the values that the capacitor sensor takes in, which is every three minutes the soil will be checked by the sensor, if that value matches the desirable humidity level that our Python code from our plant identification unit has calculated for us, it will either water the soil if it is below that number or it will turn off the water pump and check again every three minutes to see if it has, if it, it has reached the desired humidity level. <laughs> It is watering. Now the pump has stopped because the sensor has sensed that it is wet. This is Yunisa speaking and here's my project progress so far. So I created a GUI that allows user to take a picture via their webcam by clicking scan button right here. And this feature will be later shown in the video. And then they have the ability to click the identify button. The program will then detect the plant type based on a picture. So for this demo, we have gathered this picture and we will be using that to identify what kind of plant it is. So here I'm going to click identify and then what we should see is we should see a pop-up screen that indicates the information based on that plant. So as you can see here, the plant type is of peperonia. Their humidity sensor criteria is 50% and the sunlight exposure is true, which means that the plant does light the sun. And for the suitable location field on the bottom there, this part will be integrated with Bakisa's code. Hi, my name is Bakiza. I'm a CTO of ByMe and I was working on plant location identification and integrating of software with hardware. So this is how the product looks like, the final product. This will be the water tank for now and the moisture level, moisture uh, sensor will be inserted here inside the plant and this is the output hose. If I run the GUI, graphical user interface, um, I will press the button scan to access the camera and I'll press the space button to take a picture of the plant and escape to quit the camera and identify the plant. So this is the plant name and humidity level with the uh, um, sun exposure uh, data. And it says that it's false and shows that the plant doesn't like light. And the camera, uh, the picture shows the location of the plant. So after I run the GUI, there will be two minute delay. And as you can see, the water is going through the hoses. Since you could not see the watering process properly, I will show it here. The sensor is here dry so it means that this will be watering so this is the output hose and it says that the sensor is dry and it's watering the plant and if I put the sensor inside the water inside the water this will stop 
advice will solve common plant issues such as inconsistent watering cadence and inaccurate care information retrieval. So for POC, our device will water one plant and it will do identification up to five plants. So for cradle to cradle, we create one device to water multiple plants, as Yisa said. So that way it will save the plastic components and all the electrical components. We also have used PLA biodegradable tubes for the plastic tubes. And we were not wasteful in the electronic parts. We used what we needed and we did not go, we did not go in excess. Also, we conserve energy by using the USB power, which was enough to power both the pump and the Arduino, so no external power source was used. For the estimated cost of Botanique, we aim to market this device for $400, but since the materials will be bought in bulk, the price will be reduced up to 25%. Our motivation for our project is all of us like to decorate our room with a plant, but the plants we own actually die due to lack of our care. So we hope the botanic can be a solution for plant lovers out there.